Hi, um, another quick video on some alternate uses for PCBs after the one I did a while ago on front panels. Um, I quite often have to build various types of electrical box for installations. Um, for example, something like this is a standard wall mount box. Now when you put stuff in, in here, the normal way to do it is to use a mounting plate. Um, a few reasons for this. One is it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult to actually get inside here and work. Um, sometimes you may the uh, box might have to go onto the wall before you've got the electrical stuff ready. Um, but also, any type of outdoor or vaguely waterproof box, you, you really don't want to be drilling holes in the wall. So generally what you do is you mount all the stuff on the plate and then the whole plate goes in as one assembly. And that applies to things like this, this type of wall box, but also um, IP66, IP67 outdoor boxes, like this is a polycarbonate one, which again has got mount, a few mounting pillars on the, on the, um, on the back back there but all, and also smaller ones this is um, a die cast aluminium box which again you can buy these mounting plates almost always the mounting plates you have to buy separately and even down to the fairly small ones this is something I did a few years ago um, where everything was just mounted on a simple plate now I had to do about a couple of dozen of these recently for some quite large boxes and I was thinking well the actual mounting plates I think it's for this one um, they're wanting something like 20 quid each just for the steel mounting plates so I started thinking well hang on that's, that's a bit expensive so I asked my local friendly um, PCB company whether they could do stuff on 3.2 millimeter PCB material so the answer was yes not only could they do it but it actually worked out cheaper and um, these are these are the assemblies that went into this box for a fun little project that uh, happened recently so not only have I got a, got a mounting plate that's cut to the right size and most importantly the real time saver is all the holes are already in there so that literally you get the plate and just screw everything in there and go no messing about drilling holes and drilling holes for things like power supplies where you've got you get the size exactly right is, is actually a real pain to do if you've got you know if you if the odd one or two it's not a problem but when you've got like 10 at a time to do it's it's a real massive time saver I found um, these, these boxes also have had some um, rear the, these plates as well. So basically, the, um, the box itself mounted on a back plate, and then these had clamps to screw them onto a big aluminium structure. And this is another um, installation I had to do about 10 of these boxes for. Um, and again, this is basically a power supply and a dimmer in, in an outdoor enclosure for um, an outdoor installation. And again, just be able to do a plate that's got all the holes already drilled just saves so much time. So I mean, the, 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 those mounting plates, um, the PCB ones, those are 15 quid each plus about 15 quid tooling for, for all of them. It just saves so much time in assembling the boxes. Um, another job I've done on recently is this. This is a freestanding power supply and dimmer module that goes in that's going to go into a large lighting installation. And for this one I did actually a set of mechanical pieces again, all in 3.2mm PCU. It's really solid and it's, it's probably about as strong as a similar thickness of aluminium in practice. Um, maybe very slightly less rigid but perfectly fine for this sort of thing. So this one has um, a mounting plate for the, um, for the dimmer, fan mounts for, for the heatsink. So we've got those two sort of shaped pieces to mount the fan on um, and just some small support side rails to basically support the edge so it stands upright and also things like little the nice thing is just adding little holes for things like um, just cable tie positions and so on costs almost nothing to do um, so you can really save a lot of time on your assembly um, you can probably get like a me uh, metal fabrication company to do all this but I've always found it quite difficult to get metal fab companies a to deal with small volume orders at a sensible price but also to turn stuff around quickly whereas of course PCB companies that's really how you know they're set up to do that they're set up to do um, you know, if you find the right place, reasonably small jobs. I mean, all these would like all turn around in a couple of days without really any price premium on turn, turning them around this quickly because they're, yeah, they're set up to make weird shape and sizes sort of board with holes in them and, and routed edges. So um, it's a really quick and simple job for them. Um, so it just saves, yeah, saves a lot of time and in some cases quite a lot of money all around.